then going home. I know breaking up sucks, but you know what's even worse? Wasting a night in New York City. Hi, welcome to What the Fuck. I am Christy. This is Alonzo. This is Matt. None of us have been single for a really, really long it's been time. A while. I forgot. There wasn't even like cell phones. There, there weren't even texting or cell phones when I was or last single. Or on internet. Right. There was there was dial up. So we're gonna talk about how to be single, although none of us know how to do that. Um, Alonzo, please describe it to us. Uh, all the single ladies. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Dakota Johnson is fresh out of college, and she's been with the same boyfriend for four years, and she's like, you know what? We need to figure out who we are and spend some time. Uh, on our own b before we, you know, jump into marriage. So she goes to the New York, to the big city, to New York, and uh, starts hanging out with wild and crazy Rebel Wilson. Uh, she's sharing an apartment with her sister Leslie Mann, who, after years of being single, decides maybe she wants to have a baby. And then Allison Brie is in there too, but you could literally cut her out of the movie and <laughs> not affect the rest of it. She is so not attached to anyone else's storylines. Take a look. In every male-female friendship, there's a total number of drinks. Four, five. And if you hit that, it means you will definitely have sex. If I had more than five drinks, I'd hook up with you. My drink number is 27. I wouldn't even touch myself on less than 24. Yes! Welcome to the party. If Tom texts you, wait four hours to respond. And if you use an emoji, I will tip punch you. <gasps> no! An emoji? Oh! The thing about being single is, you should cherish it. Oh my god, stop oh. having a moment. The boys wanna be hurt, the girls wanna be hurt, the boys wanna be hurt, the girls wanna be hurt, the boys wanna be hurt. You really need to get that taken care of. What do you mean? I barely have any hair. You should close your legs. There's a reason I stopped watching Duck Dynasty. Is that Tom Hanks from Castaway? <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing this morning. I'm like, why is there even an Alison Brie subplot at all? It's uh, so detached. But the presence of the Alison Brie subplot gives us a lot of time with Anders Holm, yes. which is good, and he's lovely and funny. Um, but for the most part, I like this a lot better than I thought I was going to. It is better than I thought it was going to be, for sure. I, I, it, it, there are there are more laughs than Zoolander too. That's again, that's our new low <laughs> bar here. Yeah, right. What doesn't? The uh, so did the Revenant. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I, but no. What I what, what I what I would really admire about this film is that it that for a, a, a comedy about single women, it doesn't make them all get married in the final reel, which is usually how these things work. And it doesn't treat the not getting married as like the worst fucking thing on earth. No. You know, that can happen to a woman in today's no, world. It's actually a declaration of independence. Yeah. You know, really, and, and things, there are permutations here that maybe you might not expect as far as how yes. they all turn out. Um, yeah, I think tonally it pulls off a tricky thing between being super raunchy, it's, it's, it's super R, mm. but also there's a sweetness and there's a loyalty between the women and that feels genuine. They all get a chance to shine for the most part. I don't know, the Alice and Brie thing, again, it's such, it's such a weird yeah, it, it's structurally this is kind of a mess. I mean, e even the even the Leslie Mann stuff almost barely dovetails in with the other stuff. You know, it, it's almost like you've got I like like this is almost this could you don't think this is an anthology film, frankly. <laughs> there are, the, the the chunks of it are so separate, you know, and only occasionally do they, you know, so when somebody shows up at somebody else's party or something, but it's like how do you know her and right. what's the connection and I, we're, we're asking that too, mm -hmm. walking out, like, wait, right. how is Allison Brie at Dakota Johnson's birthday party? Like, <laughs> do they all just hang out at the same bar? Or everyone got the same Evite? Yeah, it's it was a, strange. It's a little confusing. But but overall, I mean I, I just I I was not expecting that it would be funny and it's Funny at times, which is you know. yeah. Each one of these stories, you know, this is a lot better than those anthology movies we've been getting from Gary Marshall. No, oh. like, I mean those are terrible. <laughs> oh, and two right. of the writers here, by the way, did Valentine's Day, and he's just not a, that into you. The other one wrote Couples Retreat and What Happens in Ooh. Vegas. This so is better this than is, all those this movies. This is a miracle. This is better than those movies, <laughs> yeah, right? there's some story beats in these that work, right? I wouldn't say any one of the stories particularly works great, but there's more good than bad here. And you know the movie does take turns in ways that you don't expect, and it's kind of nice to see a movie where you've got female characters that can have, you know, a couple of them have sex with different guys over the course of the movie. And it's, you know, there was a time where it's they're like, not punished. Oh, holy shit! You can't do that, right? right? And they don't hate themselves for it right. either. Yes. There's no walk of shame. Like, what did I do? Like, they no. own it. Yeah, yeah. right. Sexual agency. <laughs> right. I mean, Rebel Wilson makes that look really fun, right? right? Like, <laughs> it's consistent with her character. You know, she's, I think they kind of underuse that character in this movie, and when they start adding some emotion to it, I think it doesn't quite work. Yeah, it's like, wait, um, what do you guys, there's an argument that springs up that, that right. assumes a 
a closeness between the characters that maybe were in scenes we didn't get. I don't yeah, know. I, it, this I think mostly works. And then there's this one scene at the end that kind of comes, uh, not necessarily out of nowhere, but it catches you off guard and it's devastating. You can call me out on this. Yeah. I, I was mean, sitting next to you, I was sobbing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, I got <laughs> a little choked not. up. It was like. I want to find out what scene this is. I, the, 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 with David the, Wayne's Jr. Yeah, the oh, final Damon was, Wayans yeah. scene. It's very it's like, powerful, out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> out of nowhere. And what's yeah. great about that scene is that they earned that. Yeah. Like, they yes. set that up early they on. They there is a terrific ensemble cast here, Damon Wayans, in a role that never mentions that he's black or cares that he's black, yeah. in, a, in, a, in an ultra-white rom-com. I think that's a nice touch. Uh, Jake Lacey kind of playing the opposite of his character, an obvious child, right. but really charming, and he and Leslie Mann are fun together. Yeah, he's um, always very likable. He's Jay good in Carol. Yeah, Jason Mantzoukas being Jason Mantzoukas, right. but also very funny. Um, you know, I like Nicholas Braun a lot. He, he, he's the he, he's, college boyfriend. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Jason Mantzoukas, again, like, that doesn't make sense with who the Alison Brie character is. They don't make sense on paper. Maybe that's the point. They don't make sense on paper at well, all. And that's what she finally I, finds I, I think also uh, we're thinking of him as being like the, the Jason. He, this, is a, this is a much more upright version of the Jason Mantzoukas character right. than we usually get. Yeah. I, and Rebel Wilson's being Rebel Wilson. I would like to know right. what sure. else she can do. I mean, here she gets to be kind of the voice of reason while also being brash and inappropriate and funny. Uh, I want to know what else she can do. Can she do anything else? I don't know. This would be an interesting movie if you had somebody else in the Dakota Johnson role. How's that? I think, think? I like think she's the weak spot. I think huh. she's our conduit. Yeah, I think she's she's kind of a blank slate. I think you don't see. I don't know. I would have liked to have seen someone that you felt that there's more emotional investment. She just still most of her scenes. I felt like there's a distance there. Like huh, she's no, not, I, I, yeah. I find her engaging. I think mm -hmm. I, I think she she generates a level of empathy. Didn't like her bangs though. No. Um, Maybe that was the problem. Could be. I joke that she's a conduit, but I do actually think that. That she has to be sort of like the, the regular kind of nice girl because Leslie Mann is the control freak and Rebel Wilson is the wild party girl and and um, Allison Brie is the uptight husband seeker. And, right. and so maybe they all have such defined extreme character traits that maybe Dakota Johnson just has to be the glue. Maybe. So yeah, I like this better than I thought I was going to. Um, my number is a 6.9. Uh, I give it a six. Uh, I give it a what, five and a half? Mm -hmm. Five and a half. So our average is a six point one. Yeah, it's in the high thirties on the tomato meter right now. It's better it's than that. Disappointingly low. Like if if you need a Valentine's movie, and if one of you is and not Deadpool into, is sold out. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool is sold out, and or you're not into super extreme violence, this would be a totally fine alternative. Yeah. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.